biggest uh, question is whether the reflection of sunlight is coming from a solid surface or maybe a dense cloud of dust. The laws of physics are not suggestions, but it seems nobody told that to 3 Eye Atlas. This interstellar object is on a journey through our solar system, and it just did something that has left scientists speechless. It fired a jet of material straight at the sun. This is the cosmic equivalent of a boat sailing directly into a hurricane force wind without slowing down. Top Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb argues this is just one of a dozen red flags. And now, as it approached uh, closer to the sun, uh, there seemed to be some uh, teardrop shape. You see, the thing nobody tells you is that this object's secrets go far deeper than just a backward tail. Physics turned upside down. On August 2nd, 2025, astronomers at the TD Observatory in Spain pointed the powerful two-meter twin telescope toward a faint speck of light moving against the backdrop of stars. This object, designated 3I Atlas, was the third interstellar visitor ever detected, and scientists were eager to learn its secrets. After combining 159 exposures, a ghostly image emerged. What it showed was a real head-scratcher. Extending from the object was a faint jet, stretching out for a projected distance of about 3,700 miles. The problem? It was pointed directly at the sun. To understand why this is such a bombshell, we need to talk about how comets work. Comets are essentially dirty snowballs. As they get closer to the sun, the ice on their surface turns directly into gas in a process called sublimation. This gas, along with dust particles trapped in the ice, creates a glowing cloud around the comet called a coma, and a tail that streams away from it. But here's the thing. That tail always points away from the sun. The reason is simple. The sun is constantly blasting out a stream of charged particles called the solar wind and intense radiation. This pressure acts like a cosmic leaf blower, pushing the gas and dust of the comet's tail directly away from the sun, no matter which direction the comet is traveling. It's one of the most basic, unbroken rules of celestial mechanics. What many overlooked in their rush to call 3i Atlas a comet was that this jet, this anti-tail, was doing the exact opposite. It was fighting against the solar wind, pointing into the stellar gale. Avi Loeb, a renowned and often controversial physicist from Harvard University, compared the situation to seeing a photograph of an animal that everyone calls a cat. But the image clearly shows a tail coming out of the animal's forehead. It's a fundamental contradiction. If this sunward jet were made of the usual dust particles found in comets, they would be pushed away from the sun. The particles most effective at scattering sunlight, the very ones that make a comet's tail visible, are about the size of the wavelength of light itself. Particles of this size would be easily shoved back by solar radiation, creating a normal tail. But that's not what we see. Instead, we see a focused plume directed towards the source of that pressure. This wasn't the first time this bizarre feature was spotted either. The Hubble Space Telescope had captured a similar sunward glow a few weeks earlier. The new image from the 2-meter twin telescope just confirmed it. This wasn't a glitch. It was a real persistent feature of 3i Atlas. This bizarre behavior raises two immediate and very deep questions. First, what on Earth, or off it, is this jet made of? And second, why are so many experts ignoring such a glaring anomaly while insisting this is just another comet? The story doesn't end there. The mystery of the jet is just the first clue in a much larger puzzle. The case against a comet. The impossible sunward jet was the smoking gun, but believe it or not, it's just the tip of the iceberg. As scientists looked closer at 3i Atlas, a whole list of bizarre characteristics began to pile up, each one making the simple comet explanation look weaker and weaker. Avi Loeb and other researchers started connecting the dots, and the picture that formed was of an object unlike anything ever seen before. First, let's talk about its size and speed. This thing is a monster. Based on its brightness, scientists estimate that 3i Atlas is a million times more massive than the first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, and a thousand times more massive than the second one, 2i Borisov. It's also moving significantly faster than both. So, right off the bat, we have an object that is an extreme outlier in both size and velocity compared to its interstellar predecessors. What many people don't realize is that in astronomy, when something is that much bigger and faster, it begs the question, why is the first one we see of its kind such a record breaker? Then there's its trajectory. The path 3i Atlas is taking through our solar system is, to put it mildly, suspicious. Our solar system is like a flat disk, 
with all the planets orbiting the Sun on a relatively level plane called the ecliptic. Objects coming from other star systems should, by pure chance, arrive from any direction in the sky, from above, below, or the side. Yet 3I Atlas is traveling on a path that is aligned almost perfectly within five degrees of the ecliptic plane. It's as if it's deliberately flying in plane with the planets. The odds of this happening by chance are incredibly slim, but it gets even stranger. Its arrival time seems almost fine-tuned. Its trajectory brings it for remarkably close flybys of multiple planets, Mars, Venus, and even the gas giant Jupiter. It's like a tourist hopping from one point of interest to another on a grand tour of our solar system. The sheer number of these coincidences is staggering. But perhaps the most damning evidence comes from what it's made of. When astronomers analyzed the light from its gas plume, they found something completely unprecedented. The object was releasing nickel, but with no detectable iron. You see, in nature, nickel and iron are almost always found together in asteroids and comets, because they are forged together in the hearts of stars. Finding pure nickel without iron is extremely rare in natural objects, but is very common in industrially produced alloys here on Earth. The ratio of nickel to another compound, cyanide, was also orders of magnitude larger than in any known comet in our solar system, including the other interstellar comet, 2I Borisov. Get this, the weirdness didn't stop there. Comet experts predicted that a body this large and active must be rich in water ice. But when they measured it, the gas plume contained only 4% water by mass. This directly contradicted the mainstream predictions and added another layer to the mystery. It's not behaving like a water-rich comet at all. Every new piece of data seemed to add another question mark. The way it polarized light was extremely negative, a feature never before seen to this degree in any comet. And in a final, almost eerie coincidence, the direction it arrived from in the sky is incredibly close, within nine degrees, to the source of the famous WOW signal, an unexplained and powerful radio signal detected in 1977 that some have long speculated could be of extraterrestrial origin. One anomaly can be dismissed, two can be a coincidence, but seven or eight at that point, you're not looking at a series of coincidences. You're looking at a pattern. This pattern points away from a natural explanation, suggesting we might be witnessing something else entirely. Deja vu from deep space. This feeling of cosmic deja vu isn't new. Before 3i Atlas baffled the scientific community, there was Oumuamua. In 2017, this object became the very first interstellar visitor ever detected, and it was just as strange, if not stranger. Oumuamua, which means scout in Hawaiian, was a small, cigar-shaped or pancake-shaped object that tumbled end over end as it sped through our solar system. The thing nobody tells you is that, just like 3i Atlas, it refused to play by the rules. The biggest mystery of Oumuamua was its acceleration. As it flew away from the sun, it gently sped up, pushed by a force that astronomers couldn't see. The go-to explanation was that it was a comet, and pockets of gas were venting from its surface, acting like tiny rocket thrusters. But there was a huge problem with this theory. There was no tail. The powerful telescopes pointed at Oumuamua detected no dust, no gas, no coma, none of the telltale signs of cometary outgassing. It was accelerating without any visible means of propulsion. This is where Avi Loeb first entered the international spotlight. He co-authored a groundbreaking paper suggesting that the most plausible explanation for Oumuamua's behavior was that it wasn't a comet or an asteroid at all. He proposed it was thin, perhaps no thicker than a millimeter, and that it was being pushed by the pressure of sunlight itself, a solar sail. And a solar sail, of course, is a form of technology. The scientific establishment, to put it mildly, was not thrilled with this idea. The theory was labeled as speculative and sensationalist. Many scientists scrambled to find a natural explanation, no matter how convoluted. They proposed it was a nitrogen iceberg chipped off a Pluto-like planet or a cosmic dust bunny. But each of these theories had its own set of problems and required an object so rare that its existence was just as speculative as Loeb's theory. The debate over Oumuamua raged on, but the object was already gone, heading back into interstellar space too fast for us to get a better look. It left a trail of unanswered questions in its wake. Now, with 3i Atlas, it feels like round two. We have another interstellar object exhibiting behavior that defies easy explanation. What many overlooked is the pattern that is emerging. 
While Oumuamua and Three Eye Atlas are very different, one small and inert, the other massive and active, they both share a core characteristic. They display anomalies that challenge the cometary explanation. Oumuamua had non-gravitational acceleration with no tail. Three Eye Atlas has a massive tail pointing the wrong way. Both objects force us to consider physics that is either new to science or, as Loeb suggests, not natural in origin. For Loeb, the arrival of another highly anomalous object isn't a coincidence. It's a second data point suggesting that such strange visitors might be more common than we think. This raises a chilling possibility. What if these objects are probes from another civilization? The theory they won't discuss. With a mountain of anomalous data, from the sunward jet to the strange chemical composition and the highly improbable trajectory, Avi Loeb and a handful of other open-minded scientists are being pushed toward an unthinkable conclusion. 3i Atlas is not a natural object at all. What if it is a piece of extraterrestrial technology? This is the core of the controversy. The idea isn't that it's a spaceship full of aliens, but that it could be an advanced autonomous probe sent by a distant civilization to explore our solar system, much like we send probes like the Voyager or the Europa Clipper to explore other worlds. Let's consider how this theory explains the anomalies. A sunward propulsion jet that defies comet physics could be exactly that, a propulsion system. Perhaps it's a plasma engine or another advanced technology designed to make slight course corrections, slow down, or position the probe for observation as it tours our system. This would explain its ability to fire a jet into the solar wind. The strange chemical signature, nickel, without iron, could be a sign of industrial manufacturing, perhaps the material used to construct the probe's hull or components. The low water content makes sense if it isn't a comet at all, but a machine. Its suspiciously in-plane trajectory and close flybys of multiple planets would no longer be a coincidence, but a deliberate, programmed flight path. Of course, this is an extraordinary claim, and it requires extraordinary evidence. But Loeb's argument is that the evidence is precisely what we are seeing, a cascade of anomalies that, when viewed together, paint a picture of something artificial. He argues that the mainstream scientific community is suffering from a failure of imagination. Many scientists are so reluctant to consider the extraterrestrial hypothesis that they are ignoring the data that doesn't fit their preconceived notions. They cheer that it has a tail and call it a comet while completely ignoring that the tail is on its forehead. This institutional inertia, Loeb believes, is hindering scientific progress. History is filled with examples of scientific dogma being overturned by new evidence. Loeb often points out that if you're not willing to entertain extraordinary possibilities, you will never find them. He isn't saying that 3i Atlas is definitively an alien probe. He is saying it is a possibility that the data forces us to consider seriously. He proposes that we should be actively searching for more objects like it and, if possible, plan a mission to intercept a future one to get a close-up look. Unfortunately, like Oumuamua, 3i Atlas is just passing through. It will soon be too far away for our current technology to reach. We will be left with the same tantalizing fuzzy images and a list of questions that may never be answered. This is why Loeb founded the Galileo Project, an initiative dedicated to systematically searching for evidence of extraterrestrial technology. He believes that we can no longer afford to dismiss these anomalies with a shrug. The stakes are simply too high. Is it easier to believe in new laws of physics or that we are not alone? Let us know your thoughts below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more Cosmic Mysteries.